In the 60s, in March 6, 1961 to be exact, Timothy Leary gave me psilocybin and it changed my life. It changed my life in the sense that it undercut the models I had of who I thought I was. And all the socialization and child development that had left me with a very strong somebodyness, it cut that out. And of course there was fear in losing that familiar identity. But there was always also wonder because I touched a place in myself. It was behind all my social roles. And it was, uh, it was a presence. Instead of being good or this or that or achiever or anything, I experienced a place in myself where I just say, I am, not I am this or I am that, just I am. And I think it, it preoccupied me because it felt like it was my true being. And I felt like I was gypped. I was gypping myself not to have access to that. So I did what many others of you did and other people did, was I tried every chemical possibility to try to stabilize that state. I mean, if you took this and then followed it with this, and you did it under these conditions with this person, reading this book from the Tibetan, this, and you did it after fasting for so many days and standing on your left foot, it would work, see? And I still came down, and I kept coming down and coming down and coming down for about seven years through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of exploration. And then I went to India and I met Maharaji, my guru. And I met a being who didn't come down. What I experienced at that time of meeting that man, in fact, within those first few minutes of meeting him, was the experience of surrender, which was no surrender. In other words, I didn't begrudgingly give up my ego. It was as if I came home to the place where I no longer needed it. They took over my complete life at that point. I didn't leave that temple again except to go to Delhi once for seven months. They took over my food, my clothing, my training, everything. Never anybody asked or said. It was all done from then on from inside. I learned about what inside education is about. And this man was at the place where there was no other person you were giving up to. And everything I did from then on was done with absolute joy. There was no thing they could ask of me that was too hard. It was austerities that were not austere. Because I was living almost within this man. For the first time I understood what the concept of a guru was about. You see, a guru is your doorway to God, your doorway to the beyond. A guru is not just a groovy teacher. You know, it's not a pundit. It's not just a wise man who can teach you things. A guru is a spiritual vehicle, an entranceway. He's a pure mirror. He isn't anybody at all. <laughs> 